Hey everyone, Andre from CFX Films here. And if you remember my previous video on Crazy Talk, I was showing you how easy it is to use to create your animations, uh, including synced lips for voice recordings, and even easy rigging for 2D characters. Well, Reillusion has updated their software and they have some awesome new changes for users of Crazy Talk in Crazy Talk 3. And in this video, I want to talk specifically about Crazy Talk 3.2, which introduces some neat features involving Photoshop templates. Animation is no longer just for cartoons. Animated video is now crucial for storytelling, showing business processes, illustrating ideas, and visuals to connect education and training. Beyond the serious applications that animation can be used for, it's even accessible for kids to turn their drawings into animated projects and even inspire young creators. Crazy Talk Animator 3 is the one for all solution and through the combination of character creation options, motion libraries and quick animation tools, Crazy Talk Animator 3 opens up the threshold to enter, produce and master animation no matter what the prior skill or expertise going into the software is. The biggest and most important update that's released in Crazy Talk 3.2 is the functional PSD in and out solution to not only help 2D animators, but also graphic designers by saving lots of time on character creation and animated content development. Thanks to the round trip PSD pipeline, graphic designers can bring their artwork to life and animators can instantly edit their source animation files with Photoshop's powerful editing features. Crazy Talk 3.2 lets artists and graphic designers everywhere quickly repurpose their content with new styles, colors, accessories, and poses in a matter of minutes. So really quick, here is one of the default characters that comes with Crazy Talk Animator 3. And it doesn't really match the scene I have because the background is custom. I made it in Unity and I imported a screenshot into Photoshop and then I added some details. So we want to make the character blend more. So let me quickly walk you through how that works. All right, so once again, here's the character that comes with Crazy Talk. So I, it's a G3 actor, so I dropped him in. And I'm gonna click up here, the Composer button on the top left. And once this loads up, there you go, it shows the bones and the rig. So then I'm gonna click this little PSD button, which is gonna export it to Photoshop. Or if you have an external editor and not Photoshop, it'll let you select it if you can't find it on your computer. So then we're gonna click that and go to head and body in one file. And let's bump up the scale so it's a very high resolution image. And I'm gonna click launch. Vector element will be converted into an image element. Perfect. So now Photoshop has it loaded up. What we're gonna to need to do is we're just gonna disable the bones. Let's go to the talking head, disable the head bone. And now we just have the basic character, but we want him to match the scene. So I'm going to go in and add some detail and I'll sort of speed through this part so you guys don't have to sit through all of it, but you'll see what I'm doing. All right, so once you're happy with your character, you're going to click backstage and it'll take you back to the original scene. And there you go. He's a little bright, but we could go back into Photoshop and adjust that with just a simple adjustment layer. Looks pretty good. We can animate him, loading up the timeline down here, and do whatever we want using the content manager. And as you saw in the previous clips, you can add accessories, uh, add different layers of clothing. It's very easy to add. In the Photoshop layer, all you have to do is just change the name of a folder, and it's super quick, super easy, and it imports into Crazy Talk flawlessly. Lots of graphic designers create, but hesitate to animate because most animation tools are designed to exclude first-time animators. So what Reillusion really tried to do here was give you an affordable solution so you wouldn't have to go into all these other softwares, especially some of the more expensive ones. And you know, when I first started animating, this wasn't really a thing. There, the, the software wasn't really available and it wasn't that easy to use, but they've really focused on changing that and making it so a lot of different creators and people who are not really trained in animation can actually create something that looks attractive enough that you know it's passable that they can actually show to clients use in their own businesses it's just a much easier process now 
So real talk from me, uh, not a sponsored phrase that I have to say. I really do think that the software is is helpful for new animators and people that are trying to find an affordable solution to to do some of this animation. I think it's it's a really cool program and I've been using it for a few years. It was really refreshing to use the software and I kept thinking to myself, man, I wish I had this when I first started. So that's what I have to say about the software. I really do support what Reillusion's doing and it's really cool that they asked me to to check out their software for them. I hope that you take interest in the software. And if you guys want to get the software, if you look in the description, I actually have a small discount code that you can use if you buy it through the link that I provide in the description. Just letting you guys know that that's there if you're interested. If you have any questions about the software, feel free to let me know in the comments section. I will be as honest and give you the most in-depth answer that I can. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you liked this video and I hope that you found it interesting and helpful. I'll see you in the next video.